What's up, it's if you like lemons here, gonna play, um, Clarity, so. Hope you really enjoy this. You're gonna love this game. This is actually the first Call of Duty made in 2003. This is actually, the graphics aren't very good, but at that time, they're, but. Let's just get started. Anyway. All right, listen up. Private Martin, you're on the obstacle course and doing Maybe weapons training sorry. today. Before starting the obstacle course, read each of these important signs and do what they tell you. Good. Now check your objectives. You'll notice that your current objective is highlighted. Let's That's go, it. Close enough. You will notice that objective is checked off and you now have a new one. All right, Martin. Open the gate and run the obstacle course. Go, go, go! Yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry. Martin, well, good to see you. They got your story about here too, huh? Hey, move it, lady. Good luck. This is not your Aunt Fanny's dance. <laughs> Jump over him. Come on, Elder, get the lead out. Not bad. Now hit the dirt and crawl forward under the barbed wire. I hate the barbed wire, Mark. Wait, did you know there's actually an Easter egg in this? Sergeant, Let's fire see. up those machine guns. Live rounds, boys. Stay low. Private Martin, proceed through that door. Sergeant Moody's gonna take you through weapons training. The rest of you ladies, stay right here. That's funny, he calls them ladies. Eyes up, Private. I'm up here, in the observation tower. Grab one of those M1A1 carbines from the tape. Interesting story. Approach the fence and fire six rounds at your target. Your accuracy will be defined by the tightness of your crosshairs. <laughs> Blarga, blarga. Fire six more rounds at your target in different stances while moving. It will be more accurate while not moving and in the crouching or prone positions. These skills could mean your life. All right, Private, move on to the next area. Grab a <gasps> Springfield rifle from the table, switching it for your carbine. Turn to the left. Move to the fence and fire two rounds at your target. Now fire two rounds at your target while aiming down your sight. All right, I hope it's clear to you that you will be more accurate while aiming down the sight. All right, Private, move on to the next area. Boom. Exchange your Springfield for one of the Thompson submachine guns on the table. Let's Unless you've this. got three hands, you can only carry two weapons, besides your sidearm and grenades. Fire ten rounds at <laughs> first from the hip, then aiming down the gun. Prepare your accuracy. Get used to firing both ways. Take a few steps while aiming down your sight. You're going to move slower this way. In close quarters combat, you can hit your enemy with the butt end of your weapon. This is called a melee attack. Try it with your Thompson. Oh. Don't screw around, kid. This is for real. <laughs> Fire three more rounds at your target. So M is to, I'm going to semi-auto, so... Outstanding, Private. Proceed to the next area. Pick up the frag grenades from the table. Pick them up. Throw a grenade into each of the openings before you. Rock and fire! Move behind the concrete post and lean out to the left and then the right. This will help protect you from the enemy. Alright, Private. Move on to the next area. Remember, Private, if you get hurt, grab one of those health kits and use it. Don't be a hero. They will save your life. Our last station will be explosive. Big That's a lot of firepower there. Treat it with respect. That stuff doesn't care what it blows up. Place your explosives on the cinder block wall. Note that a stopwatch has appeared. This will tell you how much time you have to get your butt out of there unless you want it blown that off. Kind of fun. Fire in the hole! Ooh. 
Good job, Private. Well done. Keep your weapons with you and clean at all times. You are dismissed. Alright, I hope you liked that. That's gonna have to be the end of our video today. So, peace out, yos.